Okay, guys, so now I get to use my new door. Pretty cool. Aquaponics tank number one going in. This is why I built the door like this. Can't see what I'm doing in here though. in there right now 80 degrees and rising yeah that other thermometer or ther yeah thermometer is wrong it is defective and not working it is 80 in there got my tank in I just want to see for size I gotta take it off the wood stove it's in my way and it's not staying here anyway oh uh, where's the valve there Something like this was the idea. I just want to check how precise how it's going to look in here and how things are going to fit in here. So uh, it'll be tight once I get two of these tanks in the greenhouse. It's going to be really tight. I'm going to need working space around each one, and then I'll have the 55 gallon barrels over here for thermal mass. Plus the tanks will be thermal mass and I might even go get a load of water already today just to get uh, thermal mass in here to resist temperature change. Especially when it's 80 degrees in here. It's 50 out, 80 inside and the plants are liking it really good. So I want to do some thinking and maneuvering around here with the water tank and see what I can come up with for uh, how exactly I want to have that set up. And I have to build a frame around it, obviously, uh, to keep it from bowing out and sagging. Hi everybody, I have a somewhat level and stable platform for the water tank to sit on. Now I'm going to put it over in place and then I'll have to build a frame over that to put plants on above the water tank. And then uh, we'll go from there. I also, like I said, I have some outdoor projects to do today but the day is early it's not even lunchtime yet hey everybody it's 84 degrees in here at one o'clock in the afternoon and probably about 55 outside I haven't checked to be precise but that's it was around 50 about an hour ago I brought in three cans to see what it's going to look like for thermal mass if these are filled with water and the wood stove, as somebody suggested, I'm considering putting the wood stove outside, which would give me more room to work with in here. Um, just thinking right now, because the wood stove requires clearance on all sides to operate, I'm trying to decide how I would do this with, uh, let's say, four tanks for thermal mass, and then half of one of these totes on top of it as a grow bed so I'm just considering my options right now I'm building a platform above the tank this pallet's going to sit on to hold a grow bed I have tacked in on one side and then I tacked in on another side and I leveled it I mean I tacked it in one inside then I leveled it with one hand while tacking it in with the framing nailer this is my friend. It makes working one-handed very nice. So now I've got that tacked in. I'm going to get some larger nails and I'm going to put two or three nails per stud giving me uh, four wall studs to hold the, the pressure, the weight of two small grow beds, two 14 gallon grow beds which will go up on top of here for lettuce. So I'm going to go get my larger nails and uh, tack that in and then start framing in the pallet which is going to become part of the grow bed platform and framing for 
the water tank. So I'm going to frame that in with boards so that it cannot bow or bulge or sag like they like to do without frames. Hey everybody, I'm building a frame for the tank. It's looking quite good actually. I'm very pleased. I have to use the chop saw because my Ryobi batteries are not powering the circular saw. The circular saw is fine, it's just that my batteries are getting weak. Um, some say the cold does not affect them, I don't know. So I got the generator going and I'm running the chop saw. I am actually using the framing nail and I'm making a proper, this is just setting here. Uh, this is going to be an actual proper inserted frame right here. I've got to cut two more pieces for that. And that's going to push right up against that tank and then be screwed in secure to the two pallets above and below. Locking that in like a prisoner. And I will have access through here to reach fish, dip in, work, whatever. And uh, work as needed. And then I'm going to build a frame. This is one piece just sitting here on two blocks to give me the size and dimensions. I'm going to frame this in the exact same way with uh, basically four two by sixes leaving space for the faucet in between and I might even toenail in a couple this way to give me extra strength uh, to keep that from bowing out so here we are here we have a good start of a frame I think I might even toenail in right here across once here and once down here just to give that some strength and then once I get the two pieces here and here that tank is going to be trapped and caged like a wild animal. It's not going anywhere. In the end, I ended up, uh, can you see up in there? I framed up on this wall studs entirely, and then the pallet is resting on there for now. So, looking good. All right, there's another piece of the frame. This is not nailed in yet. It's just there, but there is one piece of the frame. Pushed tight against the water tank. Over here I've got all the way to the ground because I want weight distributed from the side from this free hanging corner all the way to the ground and I still have to put cross bracing in the middle leaving room open for the valve right there so I'm going to design that now and uh, we'll be done with the framing of the water tank and then I'll have to cut an opening in here because Chris is on his way with some water He's uh, bringing over a tank full of water for us to pump into here so we can start uh, working with this and that'll be a thermal mass as well. Hi everybody, I'm out here with the light now, a headlamp. I've got the framing done. Now, I'm not exactly sure if I like this over here, but I wanted it to be very, very strong and to resist outward pressure from the water tank because up here I had only the thickness, or the, what do you call it, the thickness of the 2x4, or the 2x6, to uh, hold that from squishing outward. And also I wanted to be able to nail in in a good and secure manner. So what I did is I built a square frame, which you saw I think I showed you, and then I put a frame in the frame. And I can still access the valve down there. Now what I'm going to do is tie these two in together these two corners in together so I'm gonna do that next and that'll be it for the night the next thing I'll then I'll just be tying in the pallet of course to everything uh, the two pallets top and bottom to everything so that'll be it I'll be back in a few minutes I guess Hello, everybody there it is oh now I've got a, a bed on top already that is a uh, 14 gallon. No, I think that's actually a bigger. That's a 25 gallon grow bed. I'm going to go and get another one tonight. If, uh, oh wait, no, I don't think they're still open. I'll have to see today or tomorrow. I don't even know what time it is. But I want to get the two same size grow beds up there. Well, the water tank is caged in. I do not think it can ever budge. Uh, it is leveled. By the way, I used my level um, through and through and through. I leveled off the pallet on the bottom and I shorted up. As you can see, I leveled it up entirely on the bottom as I started. And I worked all the way to the top. With every single thing I did, I used the level for plumb and uh, level 
to make sure because this is going to be um, full of water containers and you want your water containers to be level. That's very important. So every single thing from top to bottom is level. Now the final thing I have to do is cut a hole in that and get the vacuum. There's some little particles of junk in there. I want to clean that out and so I'm going to open up the top with the sawzall and then clean it out, give it a good rinse and then um, Chris brought me a half truck of water which I'm going to pour in there and uh, we begin. We begin our, our food supply here. Uh, Melanie came in earlier and brought me a cup of coffee and watered all the plants. She's very pleased with the um, well the parsley is growing. She noticed the parsley is growing well. I didn't even notice. Uh, can you see it? It's happy and it's leaning towards the sunlight. So I didn't even notice that. Well, here we are. So um, there is some lettuce. I want to have a lot of winter vitamins and greens. So that obviously is not enough for the two of us. And we are going to put in the two lettuce beds up there with aquaponics. So we'll start out with a few fish and get the lettuce going and uh, go from there. Well everybody, unless something comes up, I think that's it for the night. Nah, no it's not. Uh, I still got to cut that open and uh, we'll put some water in there so I'll talk to you guys in a little while. I'm going to take a little break, see what time it is and uh, we'll be back. Hey everybody, we have a hose in the tank. I've washed the tank and Chris is about to plug in the water pump. Here we go. We are going to halfway fill the tank tonight. Well, I washed the tank pretty much. I, I didn't scrub it hard. I just gave it a good rinse because it was not too bad. I uh, vacuumed it out and then I um, rinsed it out with a power uh, spray and then um, now we're just going to pump the water in and see how this all settles down. See if I did a good job today. What's your thoughts, Chris? I think it's going to work good. I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks stable. I yeah. think it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to hold up. Well, there we go, guys. We'll be back in a little while. Hey, everybody. We got half a tank of water. And it is pressing nicely against the framing that I built. It is bowing out slightly right in between. So I may want to consider putting a piece of cross bracing in here. It is pushing out. I can see it just slightly bowing out right there. Boy, that plastic will bow any way it can. And over here, so far it's not pushing against the frame like I thought it would here. That eventually probably will bow out. Then the corners are all secured tightly, so there's no way the corners can sag. There's no way anything can happen here with this pump. Uh, there's water in the ground because I washed it and rinsed it out. There, what did I say with this setup? <laughs> but anyway, there's no way, there's no way that anything can sag. Well, with the tank and the truck is almost empty. No popping. Uh, still got water coming, so I'm supposed to holler at him when it slows down. That's a good bit of water coming through there. That's, a, that's that pump I bought the other day. That's a good flow. That's a decent flow. So that's creek water, straight out of the good old creek over here. Nice and good, clean and pure water. I don't know what the greenish look is, if it's a tank or what, but... That's clean, pure water. Now, all we got to do is get one more tank of water, maybe tomorrow, and uh, get some fish. 